Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at an SAT age word problem. So we have, in 1990, Heather was eight times as old as Randy and Jennifer was three times as old as Randy. Heather is 20 years older than Jennifer and we need to find how old was Randy in 1999. So with this type of problem, because there is a lot of information, it's a good idea to make a table to organize everything. That is, we have Heather, we have Randy, and we have Jennifer. And the first year mentioned in this problem is 1990, so we'll make a row and label it 1990. So now we reread the first sentence. We have in 1990, Heather was eight times as old as Randy, and Jennifer was three times as old as Randy. So since both girls are being compared to Randy, let's set his age as the variable. That is, we'll say that Randy is R years old. So now we read, we have Heather was eight times as old as Randy. So if Randy is R years old, and Heather is eight times as old as Randy, then we can set her age equal to eight times R. And remember, once again, this is all going on in 1990. So by similar reasoning, we know that Jennifer was three times as old as Randy in 1990. So if Randy, once again, is R years old, then Jennifer is three times as old as Randy, so she's three times R, or three R years old. So now the second sentence will allow us to find the value of R. They're telling us now that Heather is 20 years older than Jennifer. So if we look at Heather's age, which is 8R, and we look at Jennifer's age, 3R, we're told that Heather is 20 years older than Jennifer. So if we add 20 years to Jennifer's age, then those ages would match. So now we can set them equal. So just to recap, since Heather is 20 years older than Jennifer, if we add 20 to Jennifer's age, then that quantity would equal Heather's age, 8R. So now all we need to do is solve for R, so we're going to subtract 3R from both sides. Now 3R minus 3R will cancel, and now we have 8R minus 3R is 5R, and now this is equal to 20. So we divide both sides by 5, and then this gives us R equals 20 divided by 5 is 4. So Randy is 4 years old. So now we want to find how old was Randy in 1999. Well, 1999 is nine years after 1990. So that means that we're going to take Randy's old age and we're going to add nine to it. So we need to find the value of R plus nine. So we have R plus nine is equal to, and remember, we just found R equals four. So we have four plus nine, which is equal to 13. So in 1999, Randy was 13 years old. Okay, well this is going to conclude this SAT age word problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.